We got pulled over. <laughs> What's going on? So they want to impound the car and they're going to take my license apparently. No, why? I don't know what to do. are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and definitely turn on all the notification right here so you guys are always notified every time a video drops sorry family welcome back to another vlog from the haunted airbnb mansion that we are going to be staying in for a little bit of time not too long maybe nine ten days maybe 14 we'll see i don't know how long we're going to be here for but welcome back to another vlog i'm going to take you guys along with this on today's adventure i left you guys off in yesterday's vlog um, we explored this haunted historic mansion that we're staying in, but I did not show you the basement I still have not gone downstairs because I wanted to show it to you guys and I haven't gone to the creepy attic Also about that creepy attic. Uh, what happened at 3 a.m. Last night? Oh my god <laughs> Yep, we were like literally falling asleep. Yep, and then we hear noises from the attic Yeah, not just the attic, but and the whole we, house. We heard three footsteps. I have a feeling it's from the attic. Possibly. We can't go up there because the door is locked. Angel's going to be bringing his pick locks to open it up today. So I'm um, excited about that. Hopefully we can see what's up there. But at 3 o'clock in the morning, I was wearing earplugs and this woke me up. Okay, I don't know what that noise was. I was wearing earplugs and I heard like three like noises yeah. inside the house. Like walking noises. Yeah. Banging. And I got up right away. And this at is a really good area, by the way. I checked the time, like, when we went back to bed, I'm like, Mo, it's 3 a.m. Yeah, so something was, like, walking around in here, but we couldn't see it. So we were kind of freaked out last night to be sleeping here. I slept with, like, one eye open. But, uh, yeah, it's currently, like, 3 p.m. We woke up late because we slept late. Thank you, ghosts or spirits of this old historic house that we're staying in. Um, anyways, we're going to go grab a bite to eat. We're going to take you guys along. And then later on, we're going to show you guys what's in the creepy basement and the creepy attic once Angelo comes with his pick lock set. Hi. I'm excited to eat. I'm excited to eat. I'm so Super hungry. We found this like really cool shawarma place. You guys know. Come on, shawarma all the way. And uh, we, I think we ordered too much, but it's good. It's all, it's all good because Angel's gonna meet us later. We'll have some leftovers for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to eat though. Mm. I'm happy that dining is finally open, so we can sit inside and eat. Yeah, exactly. Let's see how long this one stays open for. <laughs> I can't even think right now or tomorrow because I need food in my system. Also, I haven't had a coffee yet today. Oh, that's true. My espresso machine ran out of coffee and I got too lazy to buy some back in Ottawa. I so told him we're going to have to find an espresso it. store today and have to restock. And I don't want to go to Starbucks because I don't like their espresso anymore. So it's either my yeah. espresso or nothing at all. I'm not a big fan of Starbucks anymore. Like the only drinks that I like are maybe like the froth and chinos. Yeah. But you can't have that every day. It's a lot no. of sugar. Right? Yeah, it is. And I don't know. Starbucks is lacking on their stuff, man. Uh, I think Nes Nespresso, like Nespresso is killing Starbucks. Yeah. Like Nespresso needs to open up drive thrus Like that would be an, so an actual cafes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Instead of just selling them from a store, like they have to open up a cafe. That would be crazy. I think that's like the new thing. Like, that it should be. be. Like, the new thing. But then again, there's a lot of like little local coffee shops that are probably even a million times better, yeah. but you just don't know about it, right? Yeah. So I would, rather, I, I would rather support a local shop than yeah. something big. I think we ordered a little bit too much food, and I know I always say that, Shadid. Did we order too much food? Yeah, but it looks amazing. It, smells <laughs> it actually smells so good. So we got some shawarma, and they're basi basically cut up into little tiny pieces like this. And this so. is not any kind, kind of duck. Oh, mm. oh yeah, that's the beef right there. And then we got chicken, and then we got fries. I don't know where we're starting with that. <laughs> and we got garlic. And there's garlic. Pickles and turnips, mm -hmm. hot sauce, and I don't know what this is. Probably hot sauce. All right, so we are done eating. You know, thank God for all the yummy food that we just had. And uh, we have a lot of leftovers, so we're gonna give some away. Hopefully Carlo's home, because he's like two seconds away. And then we're gonna give some to Angelo, because he's gonna be coming soon. So that's why I always like to get a lot of extra food, because I always like to give food away. <clears throat> We're gonna go to the mall. I gotta get some espresso and um, what else are we doing T today? I gotta film a video later. Um, mm -hmm. Main channel videos, guys. If you're new to this channel and you don't know that I have a main channel with 3 million subscribers, I do. Almost 3 million. Ever since I ever came to Burlington, Ontario, 
I always promised myself that I would bring Shadia here. Like literally for the last like three, four years, I've been saying I want to bring Shadia over here and I've never had the chance to until now. I've always said, I'm not joking, I've literally always told Carlo that I always want to bring you here. Really? Yeah, so finally we get the chance. But first I want to see what the heck this thing is. Look at this. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what it is. It looks like a portal, maybe like a Stargate. You can go to into like a different um, planet or something. Can't buy happiness, but you can buy cupcakes. Oh yeah. It smells so good in here. Mm -mm. I'm down for some dessert. I just got the cutest little espresso. <laughs> it's actually so tiny. It's like one gulp. I'm literally gonna finish that in one gulp. Ooh, I can't wait for this. Oh my god, that lady was so sweet. She was so nice. Yeah. I love small business owners. They're always the greatest. She gave us something for free. She gave us a lot of cookies for free. Uh, I don't know if this cookie this is This espresso round. though? This espresso is a big no-no though. I, I drank it. It's a big no-no. We'll show you in the car. <laughs> but this is a place. If you guys are ever in Burlington. And I love the packaging because it's really hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do for you? I'm going to wrap this car in hot pink for you this summer. Chrome. Chrome hot pink. Seriously. You want that? Yes. Alright, this summer we're going to wrap this X5. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Should we wrap Shadia's BMW? Well, it's my BMW. But I, I, it's also Shadia's as well. We're gonna wrap it in hot pink. It might clash with the interior color, I but- I think a little bit, yeah. I think it'll still look nice, whatever. I, I need this really, really badly. I gotta wash the X5. And after I wash the X5, I got something. I got a surprise for you guys. Turn that on. Yo, the funniest thing just happened. I didn't get it on camera. This girl just launched her phone in the air because she got jump scared by a video. Are you good, bro? Daddy was watching this video over here of some guy cutting a mask open and what he found in the mask was just it made Shadi a jump and throw her phone in the air. Oh man. <laughs> that scared you? I literally threw my phone. Like that scared her me. Her phone flew and hit the screen. Yeah, it almost broke I the almost screen. Broke the screen and my phone at the same oh time. Oh my god. I didn't break it, right? No, it's good, but Jesus, I wish I got that on camera. No, I literally thought that was coming out my face. <laughs> I, it looks so real. It's gonna come out in her face. <laughs> Alright, Sarge family, we're we're about to go and see someone that excites you guys. I haven't and seen him in like years. You haven't seen Carlo in years. Oh shit, I just said his name. Okay, we're gonna see Carlo. <laughs> so I, I I warn you right now, he might hump me. He does this type of thing. Really? So he won't. He wouldn't do it to you, obviously, because he knows I'd probably punch him in the face. <laughs> but he probably will hump me. He only do it to a friend. Yeah, friend. he only does it to guys. Carlo yeah. likes that, and for some reason, you guys enjoy that. So. I think he's done it to my brother before. Right? Yep. He humped Jimmy yeah, for the first my time. Was really scarred. He humped CJ for the first time. <laughs> he humped Angelo for the first time. He humped Aldo for the this first is how time. He made. It's just how he greets people. It's just, he's a he's a special one. But I love him though, he's my friend, so what, what can no, you do? He's a nice guy. We he's just really gotta, nice. Yeah, we just gotta let him hump His us. <laughs> Help! 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 I'm being humped! I'm being humped! Please help! <laughs> Alright, now that I'm done being humped by Carlo, I literally just got humped by Carlo. I have Angelo. I had to flee Carlo's house because I got humped. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was fun. <laughs> so Angelo's here, he brought a lockpick set. Don't ask me why I have that. I mean, who doesn't have a mock pick set? <laughs> but first, Angel's got to eat, so we got some leftovers. You got some shawarma for you. Well, it's not even leftovers. It's actually like a full meal. Come, 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 come. Look at this. Look at... Yeah. Oh, there we go, Angelo. Help yourself. Once Angelo's done eating, he needs his energy to pick some locks. Then we're going to go down to the creepy basement. I haven't been down there yet. I've been waiting. Oh, it looks creepy. Shadi, you want to go down to the basement? Angelo's fed now in case he dies from a spirit or a ghost down there. Yeah, at least he'll die on a full stomach. Shadi, are you coming too? I have to. All right, we have to. I'm not staying up here. Okay? All right, let's go. <laughs> Yo, scary. legit, 3 a.m. was yeah. scary last night. All right, so we're going to go down to the basement right now and uh, finally see what's down there. So here we go. Yo, that looks creepy down there. Oh my God, I can live Imagine down. somebody's living down here. Like, we just <laughs> didn't know it. Hello? Oh, it's like, <laughs> it's like super cold. <laughs> oh, what the hell? There's like children's toys here. Huh? This is a confusing basement. It's freezing down it's here. It's so cold. Whoa. This is so weird. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I didn't think it was finished. Washroom. There's a bathroom here? Oh, wow. With a shower, too. Really? Whoa. So it is a finished basement. Jesus. <laughs> What's this? 
don't know. Just another room. Where's the light switch? It's not finished. Oh, the light switch is there. Well, it's mostly this finished. This is so weird. Is this like a cellar? Mm, no, this is like a mud room. But look, there's another room here. Oh, what the hell? Dude, there's another room in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> there's so much weird. Is that rat poop or something? No, it's probably just dirt. So, oh, this is where the furnace is. Okay, this is creepy. What else is there in this place? Is the fridge working? Open that fridge. Yeah, I dare you. I can hear it running. You just tripped the alarm. <laughs> what is that door? That door goes out to the backyard, probably like a staircase that goes up. This bathroom is like old. Look at the, the mirror. You see the mirror there? That looks like a new mirror. Creepy. No, it looks old. And this is the dungeon right here. This is basically where oh, they... Oh, that's a cellar. Yeah, full of spider webs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Keep in mind, this house was built in the 1920s. It's very old. Okay, I really thought it was going to be scarier than yeah, this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> We're kind of disappointed with this okay, basement. Off. We thought it was going to be scarier than this, but hey, it could be and haunted. I'm so happy it's short. Like, it's not long. The stairs, so you don't have to, like, run away. Okay, now it's time to pick the lock of the attic. <laughs> <sighs> Hopefully the attic has something cool in there. And there, there better be something in there because we were hearing footsteps last night, like legit footsteps. All right, you guys, here we go. We're gonna go up to the creepy attic and <laughs> this is it right here. At least I believe it's an attic. The reason why I think it's an attic is because look in here. It's just a closet. But it's not, <laughs> look, look, you can clearly see that there's a staircase here. Oh, yeah, right. Like that's definitely a staircase. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Let's open it up and find out. Oh, wow, yeah. through some serious magic, the door somehow opened. I don't know opened. how that happened. We just pushed it and it just opened. Yeah, through some magic, the door opened. Okay, cool. So this it's is really cold. I feel that cold. Yeah. Oh, there's lights up there. Oh, oh what is this? It's an attic, but like, how, like. Kind of okay, hold on. I'm gonna be the first to go into this creepy attic. Hello, anyone up here? I hope not. Oh, what the hell? That scared me. Help me! Oh, wow! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Look at this place! Is it just like storage? <laughs> it's, it's not that big of a room. <laughs> but it's a room. Oh, there's a secret door! Right there! Oh, okay. Shadow, are you coming up? <laughs> Come on up! <laughs> you Oh, are you good? Yeah. Shadow, you've never been in an attic like this. Wait, wait, don't open that door yet. Come on up. I'm scared. <laughs> this is so random. Ew. Come on. Yeah, Trust me, I've been in dirtier anything. places. There's like dead bugs all over the shelf over there. Ah, there's a spider that's dead. There's a spider, a spider ew, on ew, your head. Ew, ew. <laughs> I don't want to what is this? I don't know, but look, there's a secret door over here. Found a Christmas tree. Why is there so much stuff up here? This is a cool, like, so little much. play place for children, if anything. Hey, look, look at that door, though. Look at the shadow. You never know that there's a door here. What the hell? I see that, though. Those okay. actually go around. Yeah. So, look, there's like a secret door over here. Let's open it. Oh! Oh my god, what is that? Anything in there? Whoa! Dude! Lights! And there's another door. What? <laughs> what the hell? Shadi, look at this. This, this is, is so crazy. random. This is so cool. There's like a oh, little... The yeah. So there's a room here with a strange painting. And then there's another secret door inside of here. How awesome is that? I'm like I'm in an abandoned house now. I know. <laughs> oh, and this is just a closet. Yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. All right, so there we go. We explored. Look at how old this is, though. Look at the wallpaper. Yeah, it's neat. It's so cool. So there you go, guys. We managed to go through the secret attic. <laughs> Somehow it miraculously opened. I don't know how it did. All right, so that was a really cool, creepy attic. Let's go back downstairs now. There's spider webs everywhere up here. So it's very strange that the main entrance door does not have a doorknob. It, it just sits over here. <laughs> so it's like they're trying to lock you in, and they don't want you to leave. So it's kind of creepy. Try putting it on and then opening it. I'll open something else. <laughs> like a closet door. Sick bastards, get that shit out of your brain. 
Hey, it's a closet. Guys, I am being forced against my will Four? to eat some cupcakes and donuts. Then don't eat. We're gonna try these out. I don't know why I'm still talking like this, but I am. Huh? You don't have to. Alright, you and Angela can have some. <laughs> so, we're gonna go film it a little bit. But Shadia really wants me to be unhealthy today, so let's be unhealthy. Actually, wait, these are. These are gluten and vegan. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, they're definitely not gonna taste good. Because well, when we walked into the shop, and we ordered everything, and then after we ordered, the lady was like, "Yeah, all this is vegan and gluten free, and sugar free, Actually, and dairy so free, and food free. It only has chemicals in it." I'm just joking, but it is vegan and gluten free, so it's probably gonna, not going to taste good. Even the sprinkles are apparently vegetarian. Ew. They're like veggie based. What the hell? I want a steak in my muffin. <laughs> Hello, cupcakes. Are you haunted? Muffins, donuts. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Can you not summon demons in here yet? Hello? No. Hello. Shad is going to be here alone while we go out and film. Yeah. I don't want her being scared. <laughs> oh, look at this. Whoa, we literally got one of everything, huh? So she gave us, so you ordered one of these? Yeah, she gave us like three so extra for, for oh, free. It smells amazing. Hmm. Okay, so this is the cinnamon mini and donut. Angela, here's a mini cinnamon donut wait, for wait, you. Wait, 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 until I give him everything. <laughs> <laughs> they gave us a Valentine's Day thing for free as well. They gave us a lot of stuff for free. Either their food is no good or... Yeah, no, I mean, they're hey, they're small businesses. They really need the, the business, so... Yeah, they need the attention. Um, yeah. Cut this I hope they get some business. Okay. Should I just break it in half? We're men. We don't need knives and forks. I will eat this with my bare hands while covered in cow poo. <laughs> what happened? It got destroyed. She is under a lot of stress and pressure right now. She, oh, yeah. she, everything has to be perfect. You know what? I'm gonna just go, go ahead Sorry, and eat this. So, <laughs> mini donut, cinnamon, <laughs> sugar, mini donut, vegan, gluten close, whatever it's called, gluten close. I don't know what I just said. Mmm. Mmm. What are you eating? Mmm. The mini donut. It's actually what you good. Eat it? What does it taste like? Mmm. Try the cookie. It tastes like cinnamon. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's actually good. I would actually buy this. Wait, what am I eating right now? This would be good with an espresso, but I just oh. had like four of them. All right, so I'm gonna try a piece of a cookie over here. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I like it. That was weird. Yeah. I felt the house shaking. Was, was, it, was it just me? I didn't know it was anything. It's just you. That was just me. That was weird. That was so <laughs> strange. Okay, so chocolate chip cookie is pretty good. You don't like the cinnamon thing? So far, I don't like anything. What? 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 It's not, it doesn't taste like what it's supposed to taste. What do you mean? It's actually good. No. It actually does taste like everything. Which one do you want to try? So this next? is a birthday cake, cupcake. Mmm. Mmm. You really liked it? Mm hmm It's not bad. No, it's actually good. It's not, not bad, Chad. It's actually good, but I don't know what's wrong with your taste buds. That's not how they're supposed to taste. How are they supposed to taste extra fatty and heart clogging? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just supposed to taste. Okay, so these were really good. What's next? Everything. <laughs> just take a piece of everything. Okay. Alright guys, this is supposed to be red velvet. It's not red, probably because it's vegan. So, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead. Yeah, it's, you know. This, this vegan cream tastes awfully like dairy to me. Mmm. Probably like almond milk. This one here does not have any flavor. No. Really? Yeah. Does it taste like red velvet at least? No. <laughs> All right, Sergeant family jumping into the night. We got pulled over. <laughs> Angela was speeding. I'm driving, but he was speeding. <laughs> That's all my fault. I mean, I wasn't speeding that much. I was only doing like 200 over. That's not a big deal. I'm just joking. I was not doing 200 over, but I don't even know how fast I was going. But we're in the middle of nowhere. Well, what are the odds of cops I being know, there, right? Like, like. We we're just in deep conversation. We were in a deep conversation. Different flavors of ice cream. And yep. Mm -hmm. I just didn't realize how fast I was driving, even though he's driving, but I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully he doesn't give me a big ticket. Hopefully he lets us off with a warning. Let me know in the comments below. Will it be a warning? Will it be a ticket? We'll have to wait and find out. He seemed like a nice guy. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he is a nice guy, but you know, you know, usually the nice guys are the ones that screw you over. <laughs> like I've dealt with cops where they were complete assholes and they just let me off with a warning at yeah. the end. Like, and now after, and me, I was just like, yo, just give me my ticket. I gotta go. I got something to do, you know? And he, just, he did not give me a ticket. So, Whew, my fingers crossed. Filming this on Angela's phone because I'm about to call Shadia and prank her about getting pulled over. So I did get pulled over. The guy was really nice. He let me off with a warning. He said, hey, you're that most sergeant guy. I don't want to mess with you. Anyways, um, I'm going to tell Shadia that I was going 70 over, which obviously I wasn't. I'm going to tell her that they're going to take my license away and I need a ride. So here we go. And that they're impounding the car. We don't know how we're going to get home for Toronto. Yo. What's going on? 
So they want to impound the car and they're going to take my license, apparently. No, are you serious? I swear. No, why? I don't know what to do. Mo, are you being serious? Are you joking? <laughs> 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 so bad. Wow. What? What is wrong with you? Lots. <laughs> like you were literally about to make me cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, Sargi family, we just finished filming that video. Super duper duper late. Um, the cop that pulled me over is actually just up ahead. <laughs> we were actually kind of worried because we're parked outside of that abandoned place, which is right down this road, and the cop is still on the same road. You guys, we're gonna be passing him, so hopefully he doesn't realize it's us and pulls us over. That's the cop that pulled us over. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep, that's him in the SUV. And he's turning around. God damn it. No, he's not. <laughs> really? No. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, no, oh, he, he, turned, off no, he turned off his lights. <laughs> we were in that abandoned house and we we're like literally a mi not even a minute drive away from it. Yeah, on the same real. road. If he just drove up the road, he would see my car parked out on that road. And probably like, hmm, isn't that the dumbass that I just pulled over? What's he doing here? <laughs> just visiting. Yeah, just visiting. <laughs> Don't, mind Don't mind us. Don't mind us.